Hi everybody, welcome to this week's product video. My name is Sarah and I'm the owner of Theobel. Um, so this week we're talking about wall art, uh, which is really exciting as to me, that's what makes a house a home. And I love having um, stuff that shows my personality all over the walls, as you can see from the painting that's kind of sticking out in the corner in my background of the film. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so today I'm showing uh, new items from three different vendors. And then I'm going to show you a few items on the site that are a way to bring art kind of in a unique way into your house. So the first vendor that I'm going to talk about is um, one of our kid entrepreneurs. We actually have two of them today that I'm going to talk about that have are giving us new stuff and they're original art. So I should say all of the new stuff, I think the most, I think everything's under $30. I'd have to check. Um, so this is a great way to snag some original art by maybe some up and coming artists. Um, so yeah, so first up we have Storm Art LTD and this, if you've watched any of my other videos, will know that this is a brother duo that started as a homeschooling project uh, doing this acrylic pour um, art and uh, they're raising or they're giving a bunch of the money that they're making um, to ARF, so the Alberta Rescue um, I think it's Foundation. Um, and uh, yeah, so ARF is such a great, uh, great way for them to support the community. And look at this stuff. Like, I wish I was this talented when I was younger. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm not sure. They kind of have a few different ways, depending on what, what angle you liked. Um, they're um, a really nice little size. You could even hang a couple of them together to make a really fun little masterpiece. So they do do... Um, custom work so if you see something and maybe the colors are not quite right and you want something um, for your house um, and also check out uh, the website because we have added uh, a few other pieces the last couple weeks so they do have more than what I'm showing you today um, currently for sale so here's another really um, pretty one um, I find their work captivating like I just I get lost in it because it's so pretty so I think these would be uh, really nice in like a waiting room if you have a business or an office where maybe you you know you spend a lot of time on hold this would be very exciting to look at uh, while you're on hold um, and kind of see I don't know, the story within it and then we've got another one I just think it kind of looks like a tree from this angle but depending on how you wanted wanted to hang it but yeah they're really pretty and um, the way they've done it um, you really wouldn't necessarily need a frame because they've gone all the way to the edges uh, so it would be really a great way to get some original art and kind of brighten up your place um, with uh, you know, one of these really fun pieces. I just can't believe like a seven and 10 year old, like these guys are amazing. Um, so yeah, so really nice, um, great way to support um, some local up and comers. Uh, so the next uh, vendor I'm gonna talk about here is Georgia Paints. So Georgia just had a birthday. She just turned 13 and she's got some beautiful paintings. Um, that we've got so this first one here uh dream catcher and again she's like storm art she will be happy to talk to you about doing some custom work so if you like this um but maybe your kid's bedroom has a slightly different color scheme um you can always talk to her um, or maybe you want a slightly different size a bigger or a smaller um she would love to tackle that um again like the talent of these kids is just blowing me away i was still i think probably doing stick figures at their age so this is fascinating so next up I have this beautiful um, painting uh, this just reminds me of summer like it really does so if you've got um, like a really fresh uh, color scheme in your kitchen this would be really nice or in a cabin um, it's just I don't know it's really just simple and beautiful and it would be great on the wall uh, next up we have an abstract so as you can see Georgia is really multi-talented she does a whole bunch of different uh, different things um, I'm really excited I can't wait to see what we get from her in the future I still have a few pieces uh, that are going to be hitting the site but just because she does so many different things I just I can't wait to see um, so this one is um it's either raspberry or strawberry lemonade or pink lemonade 
Um, and I just love the color schemes. Um, if you had like a little girl that maybe had like the pinks and yellows in her room, this would just be such a fun little piece to like, I don't know, stick above her bed or over her dresser. Um, and again, if you like the idea of this abstract, um, you could always talk to her about getting it done in different colors. Um, so the last piece that I wanna show you from her has actually sold, but uh, she's done something like this on two different occasions. So I wanted to show you because maybe you really like this and you want uh, something done custom. So this particular one has sold, but uh, you can always let me know and I could talk to Georgia about getting something similar done for you. Uh, so the last piece that I have um, is by Peggy's Project and it is um, a wall hanging uh, that's been sewn. So if you've got kids, oh, these are machine washable, which is fantastic. Um, and if you do change your decoration seasonally, um, these are really nice because they fold up um, so that they take way less storage space uh, than like uh, painting wood. So maybe you have somewhere that you hang like a Christmas a uh, banner that's about this size and this could be your summer equivalent of it um, and then it's very easy to store you know come the holidays if you do if you are one of those really artsy people that changes your art around I am sure not I leave mine up all the time um, this would be a really nice table runner as well uh, so if you've got anybody who's kind of that Rockwell inspired this is just a really fun piece um, that you could um, you could hang um, so next I wanted to show you not everybody's like a big appreciation for the wall art but there's a lot of ways that you can bring artistic elements or art into your house that are not exactly wall hangings so the first one I want to talk about is by setting the table with kind of like artsy style um, so these are from Peggy's project as well um, there are placemats and I'm just gonna kind of show you um, they're all different there she does them kind of in pairs where you'll see like similar fabric on them but they would be amazing if you wanted to give every member of your family like a customized place setting. So you could have like your Disney, like maybe you're a big Disney fan and uh, your husband's a scuba diver and your kids like Frozen and Harry Potter. Well, you could combine all of those um, together because she does have all of those different options. And then you have like a really beautiful table that has like fun kind of, I don't know, art is supposed to be fun and like make your house feel homey and that, you know, unless you're a collector and then it's different reasons. But for me, art is all about having fun and that. So that's a great way to kind of bring something interesting into your table. Another way that you can do it um, is with your soap dispensers. So maybe you've got a really minimalistic kind of vibe going through the house. Um, this is something, I mean, everybody needs soap, so why not put something beautiful like this in? Um, so every single one of these is painted by hand. They're different, different colors. Um, we've got blues, we've got oranges. You take a look, there's pictures of everything. Um, but they're just beautiful, they're refillable, but they do come full. So this one's um, filled with uh, sandalwood scented soap. That's really nice, it makes your hands really smooth. So with COVID, we're washing our hands so much. Um, but yeah, that's just kind of a fun way to bring art in. Next we've got um, from, L oh, I guess this was from Trade and Mark Soap Company. This one's from LB, whoa, it's fine. Um, this one's from LB Creations um, and it's a mason jar tissue holder. Um, so again, everybody has to have tissues all over the place. Uh, why not have something in really a fun, you know, if you've got a spot in your bathroom, this would be a really fun kind of like, you know, I don't know, bring some ambiance in. Um, so it comes in teal and silver. And when these were made, uh, the, the refills were available at Walmart. I have not checked recently, but I'm sure you could track down some refills if you really wanted um, or figure out a way uh, to fill it yourself. Um, we're all wearing masks an awful lot right now. So kind of a fun way to bring kind of an artistic element to it um, is one of these ear savers. Uh, so if you're wearing, like if you're a nurse or I don't know, a dentist, somebody who's wearing masks all day long, um, these just sit behind the back of your head so that the masks um, straps get pulled back. Um, and you can adjust the masks by tying them 
or like a lot of her ear savers, this is just one of them, have lots of holes in them. So I would think that you could also, you know, fold these down to get them to the exact size that you wanted. Um, and then they look really pretty and they're very practical. I really love practical art because it's a way to, um, you know, have something beautiful that's also useful, which is great, which is perfect for the next item I'm gonna talk about, which are these wax wraps. So you've probably heard me talk about them because I love them that much, but just look at the pretty colors on these ones. Um, so we've got, you know, this really summery, and then we've got some birds, and then this fun like um, shapes. And these are, pretty so you can have like your leftovers looking pretty you can have snack bags that look pretty um, and they're so useful if you have any questions about wax wraps or want help selecting the size you want because we have a few different sizes please let me know I have tried all the different sizes and I use them for various things so depending on whether or not you have kids or not I might be able to help you um, figure out which one um, that you want and they're just they're amazing um, so let's see, where do I want to go from here? Um, so another kind of practical way to bring some fun and some color in, um, and have things, um, this is a post-it note holder. So these are great teacher gifts, but they're also like, I love post-its and this is an inexpensive way to show me that you care. Hint, 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 right? No, um, all joking aside, I, um, have had a couple of these around and they're really fun because they're easy to find the post-it holders. Um, and they look a lot nicer sitting on your desk because they're kind of fun. We have them in a few different patterns, so you can check um, unicorns, we've got mermaids, we've got Mickey, we've got apples, there's a whole bunch. There's some teacher ones, so again, if you're looking for a little add-on, maybe give this and a Tim Hortons gift card and thank the teachers. They've been working hard, they deserve it. Another kind of office one that is good um, is this little to-do list holder. So again, it's fun, it's colorful, it's got a little artistic element to it, but it's super useful. Um, I would suggest, you know, camping. You could use this for camping. You could use it just on your desk as your to-do list. You could hang it on your fridge, but just a really nice size um, for jotting down all of your notes. Uh, another really um, practical way to kind of bring some color and some fun into your life um, are these uh, burp cloths um, from, these ones are by Marlene Maid and they come in a whole bunch of different patterns, but I just love these ladybugs. This is a set, I think it comes with two burp cloths and a receiving blanket. Um, and yeah, if you're gonna use burp cloths, why not have some fun ones? So if you know somebody um, having a baby, these are really great housewarming gifts, or sorry, baby gifts, baby shower gifts, because you can never have too many of these. And they are reversible, so you could use them um, two different ways. But I had these when I had little tiny babies. I had these hidden all over the house um, because I was constantly needing them. And uh, they were great if the baby spit up. They were great for burping. They worked great just to mop up spit and other fun baby things. Um, so next, we've got these um, cards, um, which are just so artsy. I feel like they need to be part of the wall art uh, collection um, because they could be framed and hung on the wall after you're done with them. So they're kind of like a two in one. It's like a note and a wall hanging. Um, and there's a bunch of different ones. Some of them are seasonal, but they've also got um, some really pretty, pretty ones. And these are $9. So I mean, really, you could go buy a cheap frame. I think they sell them, you know, at the dollar store, give them the card, write a really nice note, and then they can hang it, you know, in a nursery or somewhere. Um, you know, if they've got a frog themed room or they love frogs, it's just like, it's the perfect little size, you know, to put in a little frame and hang. Uh, so the last thing that I want to show you today um, is some earrings. So we have a lot of jewelry on the site. So if you're wanting to kind of, maybe you're not so much the wall art, but you're more of like artistically dressed. Um, we have a lot of fun, unique um, jewelry. Uh, so these are some Tinkerbell earrings. They're a lot of fun. They're made out of uh, mirrored acrylic. So they're a lot of fun when you put them on because they kind of catch the light. Um, but yeah, they have Tinkerbell on them and they're really reasonably priced. Uh, these ones are $5, like seriously, $5. 
Uh, they're worth way more than that, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, so uh, if you've got a Tinkerbell friend, you could get uh, get that. And then of course, we've got bracelets, necklaces, all that kind of stuff. If that is more your art thing. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for today. Um, make sure you check out uh, our website to see everything because I'm not talking about the art we added the last two weeks. So there is a lot more wall art. And then we've got a lot of other neat things um, that you can combine with all of these items. So make sure you follow us on social media because I will be making recommendations all week on how you compare some of this wall art uh, with other things to make a complete gift, to make gift giving simple, which is what my goal is to help you. But anyway, hope everyone has a great day and we'll talk. We'll be back next week with more new items.